This morning, we're joined by Timothy Milavinov, president of the Kyiv School of Economics, as well as an advisor to President Zelensky's administration. He was Minister of Economy for Ukraine from 2019 to 2020 and is an associate professor at the University of Pittsburgh. Uh, good morning. Welcome to the programme. Good morning. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, first of all, your reaction then to Joe Biden's comments um, uh, regarding Ukraine and indeed Putin's tactics here, uh, accusing Putin of genocide in the country. Unfortunately, it appears to be true. It's hard to believe even for me, you know, Ukraine has seen the actions of Russia for years now, since 2014 at least, when Russia annexed uh, Crimea and invaded the east of Ukraine. And we have seen what Russia does to Ukrainian people in the east of Ukraine. But, you know, just uh, un appalled by the scale of atrocities and uh, murder of civilians um, that we have seen in Bucha. Uh, but Bucha could have been an isolated incident or Mariupol could have been an isolated city. Uh, but as uh, more evidence comes from other cities and villages around Kyiv, we see that uh, civilians were killed indiscriminately and on purpose. Uh, so it looks like Russia is really trying to simply turn Ukraine in no man's land and kill as many civilians as they can. Mm. And this, of course, comes in the week where um, really all of our discussion has been dominated by the idea that Russia is is regrouping to attack the East um, in a in a really quite intense manner is that your understanding as well from from what you know about what is happening at the moment? That's correct, uh, and it's also not as much in the news, but the attacks in the East continue. Mm -hmm. Around Izum, Kharkiv is being uh, bombarded daily, and we have seen an increase over the last weeks of. Um, Russian Air Force operations, uh, but at the same time, uh, you see that in the west of Ukraine, in the central Ukraine, uh, it has become quieter. So they are really focusing all of the operations, particularly um, Air Force uh, missile attacks on the east of Ukraine. Can you, Timothy, can you give us an insight into how President Zelensky is? We are approaching two months since war broke out and his his approach, um, certainly in terms of his video messaging and his speaking with parliaments and leaders around the world, from where we sit, he is strong and he is defiant. But this must be taking really quite a toll on him as leader. It must be, but he's not showing it. Um, I was in a meeting yesterday on, you know, in a working group on sanctions, and he just uh, popped in. Um, that there was a, a number of international uh, experts and uh, public opinion leaders, and also Ukrainian experts and thinkers, and he just popped in and um, talked for five ten minutes. Uh, just gave a pep talk very upbeat, very leader-like. Um, I don't know where he, uh, where he gets all that energy from. You know, I, I've worked for him uh, as a minister in his first government and um, as an advisor to the administration later, and I've been in maybe hundreds of meetings, and he always has these meetings under control, no matter how intense it is. So uh, sometimes I think he's just a different type of person. <laughs> Yeah, I have to say that's that's what it appears to be from from the outside as well. You know, when we when we see him delivering his his addresses and things, um, amazing to hear that you were in a meeting with him yesterday, and you know, e even so, you don't know where he gets all the energy from. As I say, what 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 are we? Nearly a couple of months into this, into this war, I, I suppose. On that note, I want to reflect what uh, Putin has said on peace talks with you as well, um, saying that peace talks have reached a dead end after Ukraine made fake, in inverted commas, claims of war crimes. Um, and so I wonder what the level of optimism is for, for the peace talks to reach any sort of agreement anytime soon. Here, the position of uh, most of Ukrainians, and uh, first of all, Zelensky and the government is clear. We are skeptical of the peace talks, given the experience of uh, the last eight years. Uh, but at the same time, we should try to continue to reach some of the, you know, as much as possible of you uh, in these talks. Um, and I think it's, it's true. So there's some progress, you know, for example, 
humanitarian corridors were negotiated as a part of this these talks previously. Of course, they didn't work, or uh, Russia didn't keep its side of the um, of the agreement uh, in Mariupol in particular. But still, many many people uh, were evacuated using this corridor, uh, humanitarian corridors. So we should uh, we should continue to try to resolve uh, the uh, the to work with Russia diplomatically, but unfortunately, I think the the results of the war or the, the end to all of these hostilities will be worked out in the war theater. And as long as Putin can push, he will continue to do so. Mm. I just want to ask on a personal note for you as well, how, how are you? Are, are you safe where you are? Are you content staying where you are? I'm safe where I am. Uh, I'm content. <laughs> Uh, but uh, it's just you know it's as you said it's uh, it's two months now you know it has sunk in that's the new normal it's not going to be over in a week or two and you know I'm living through a war in the 21st century a massive war not a you know a small incident kind of a local episode and it's really hard to comprehend unfortunately I don't have that much time to think about it uh, you know in a cool way. You know, in a, measured reasonable way but when i do i get really upset because you know no one should be living through this people should not be dying in the 21st century uh, russia is sick you know there's some kind of disease there that tens of millions of people not every russian supports the war but tens of millions of people do and we need as a humanity you know together all of us it's not a you know isolated nation issue we have to work uh, together to fight this tyranny and stop it from spreading. I'm very grateful for you taking the time to speak to our programme this morning. Thank you very much, Timothy. Thank you for joining us.